Hey guys, this is a setup video for your iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, if you guys have a 16 Pro, it's kind of the exact same thing anyways. So let's get started. So first thing you guys should know are your buttons. So on this side, you guys will see your camera. So this is for your camera. You have your power button. On the other side, you guys are gonna see your volume keys. And this one can be customized, but it's also for silent mode, okay? And then you guys can customize it. From here, it's your SIM card. So you guys are gonna put your SIM card in there and we're gonna do that right now. Also, to charge it up, it's from down here below. But anyways, let's just start off with your SIM card. So what SIM card is for your iPhone? Well, your SIM card, it's gonna be the exact same one that's for an iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max. This is 16 Pro Max, but they all use the same card, which is this one, it's a Nano. So, so you guys have anything like this, Go on and take out the smallest one. That's this one. Just press on it, take it out. And that's the one that you guys need, Nano. Here is the SIM card. From there on your phone, you're gonna see your SIM card tray right there. This tool is the one that you need to take this out. If you guys lost it for any reason, go on and look for an earring. That will work just fine. Just insert it here, press on it. And that's gonna be popping out. So it just pops out by itself. Then you just have to pull this out. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but did my best here. From here, here's your tray. Turn it around, because that's where it's gonna go. From here, just place it like so. It's gonna place flat. Then insert it in your phone. So here's my phone. I'm just gonna insert it. it goes just like this, and there you go. SIM card is not something that comes with your iPhone. You guys can take it out of your previous phone, even if it was an Android insert it here or get one from your carrier. They are usually free, but some carriers do charge you. Now your phone to power it up for the very first time, you guys are gonna see the power button. Just hold on to it and you're gonna see an Apple logo coming right up. So keep loading and then there we go. Apple logo, just let go once the Apple logo is there. So here's the Apple logo. Just wait for it to start up. You guys are gonna see this hello screen. From your hello screen, that's when we can actually get started. Just swipe up. You guys can choose your language. Go on and choose whichever language you guys like. So in this case, um, I usually go with English, but you guys can go on and set up all these languages. These are all the ones available on your phone. So we're gonna go for English. Uh, your region. Again, I'm gonna show you all the regions, countries available on iPhone. And if for some strange reason you guys don't see yours, just choose whatever's closest to you, I guess. But it should be on this list. It'll be very rare that <laughs> you don't see your region here. And again, I'm gonna go down the list so you guys can see all of it. But technically the first one that shows you up here is supposed to be yours. So if we go all the way up, that's supposed to be yours. So we're gonna go on, appearance. So this is pretty cool because you guys can choose whether you guys want this to be medium or large. People. Usually, people that go for the Pro Max, that bigger screen, do go for large or at least medium. That said, I like default, which is the smallest text. So we're gonna go into continue on. From here, quick start. This is something you would use if you guys had an iPhone before, or you guys even have an iPad. This will help you. Just make sure to have your phone, your other phone, or your other iPad near you. Well, directly right here, sitting beside it. I make sure it's turned on, Bluetooth turned on, and you will see a screen popping up on your device. So on your iPhone, your older iPhone, older iPad, you guys should see a screen popping up with quick start and then keep going. However, if you're brand new to this, set up without another device. From here, choose your Wi-Fi network. So mine's this one, put in your password. Once you have hooked up, it's just gonna go to the next step. So if you guys are using a hotspot, it's the exact same thing as a Wi-Fi network, so don't worry about it. It's gonna detect it as a Wi-Fi network. Your hotspot could be coming from another phone or it could be coming from a device, different devices out there that do hotspots. So right now all we have to do is just wait for this to load up to the next thing. And then we can keep going with the setup. The setup itself is pretty short unless you're transferring stuff to your phone. I do have a separate video that teaches you how to transfer your information to your brand new phone. So it's gonna be literally called that, how to transfer. And uh, for those of you who are new, usually you're watching this video. Anyways, right now, update. Never skip any updates. Go ahead and update now. Let it update. So agree on the bottom right-hand side. And then let it do its update. Right now, 
it's going to run the update, just let it be, then come back to it later on. Usually, during updates, I would say hook it up to some electricity, have it charge up. But see that battery life? Yeah. Usually phones, and all the phones that I've gotten, have at least, at the very least, 70% of their battery, which means you're fine. If you guys have really, really low battery or no battery at all on your phone when you get it, I would return it or exchange it because something's wrong. So right now what we're going to do is just let it do its thing and we're going to come back to it afterwards. So if you just left your phone to me, just tap on the power key, swipe up again, choose this again, quick start, set up without a device, and then just keep going. So right now you can press continue on and here, set up an iPhone. So if you guys are setting this up for yourselves, just go on and set up for myself. You guys are setting up this up for a child or a family member. There we go, second option. I'm gonna assume this is for you guys, so let's choose that. From here, face ID, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. However, if you don't wanna go on and import any personal information, just tap on set up later. And let me just go back because I'm gonna show you how to go on and set this up with face ID. But once again, if you are setting this up and you don't want to import any personal information, just go on and set up later, which means you're just not gonna set it up. So press continue. And then all we have to do is move our face kind of like this in circular motion. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And then we can choose if we want to use face ID with a mask or without. I'm gonna choose without. You guys can set up whatever you like. Then down here, press on continue, create a passcode. There are various ways to create a passcode. So if you go into passcode options, you do have other options down there. I'm gonna cancel that right now. Just putting any passcode that you like. Then just, there we go, repeat it again. Once you repeat it again, then it's gonna take you to the next screen, which is transferring your data. So if you had a phone from before, you would transfer your data. If you didn't, then there's nothing to transfer. If you guys had an Android, this is pretty useless, so I wouldn't suggest that. Just don't transfer anything. If you guys had an iPhone from before, you guys can use iCloud. In order to use iCloud to transfer stuff from your old phone to this one, it's actually free. So you know how you have to pay for iCloud storage? Well, if you're just gonna transfer stuff, there is a setting where you guys get free storage just to do the transfer. But keep in mind that you do have this option from another iPhone as well. We're gonna assume you guys are brand new, so choose down here below. And then iCloud, if you guys don't have an iCloud, tap down here below. You guys can create one. If you guys don't wanna transfer any personal information, choose the last option, set up later in settings. So again, if you guys don't have an Apple ID, tap there. It's gonna ask you for your birthday, first name, last name, click on continue, email address, and you're pretty much done. Regardless which option you guys chose, this is your next screen. Right now, update iPhone automatically. I would choose only download automatically, just to keep things safe. From here, iMessage and FaceTime, just click on continue because you guys will be using that. And location services, if you guys want maps and all that stuff to work, turn that on. Screen time, this is really for kids and you guys can set up restrictions and all that stuff. Or if you guys want to see your screen time yourselves for you, then yeah, set it up. Most people don't because they don't really care. So I'm gonna set up later in settings, which means you're just not gonna do that. You guys can share your analytics with Apple or not. I'm gonna share. Same goes with this, developers. You guys can share with developers or not. I'm gonna share. Right now, I'm gonna explain this. So light mode is this, dark mode is this, automatic, we'll turn it light mode during the day, dark mode during the night, so that way it's easier on your eyes. For this particular video, it's better if I do light mode. And here we go. So I'm gonna show you what your silent button is, which is this one right here. But you guys can customize it as well. So I'm just gonna continue on. And here it's gonna tell you that. So that's an action button. So that means you guys can customize it to whatever you want. Since you're new to this, just leave it a silent button right now. And if you see that you end up not using it that much, you guys can customize it. Because anything we're doing right now, you guys can go on and set it up later on or just change it later on, that's what I mean. Uh, camera, so it's gonna tell you that your camera button's right here. Press and continue down here below. So again, this is your camera. Press and continue and Siri. All right, so this part, you guys can skip if you guys don't want to import any personal information down here below, set up later in settings. If you guys wanna set up Siri, I'm gonna teach you how to set that up right now. So going to continue. I'm gonna select voice number four because that's what I'm used to. The colors of the sky. 
Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And Siri's ready. All I had to do was read exactly what was on screen and that's it. So I'm going to continue now. Uh, you guys can share your recordings with Apple or not. I'm gonna share, you guys don't have to. A lot of people press that now. And emergencies, just going to continue on. And you are officially done. Scroll up. As you guys gonna scroll up, you're gonna see these apps. These are the apps you guys get as default on your iPhone. So these are not apps that I downloaded myself. These are just apps that are pre-installed. So all of these are the ones that are pre-installed and there's nothing else. So if you guys want social media such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, anything like that, download it from the App Store and they are in fact for free. So go ahead and do that. And as far as this video goes, we're all done because this is just a setup video. If you guys want to check out the manual of how to use your phone, I do have a separate video for that. So make sure to check out that video if you guys want to see how to handle this phone. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.